I did intentionally give this a really, really broad kind of, you know, I didn't limit you at all. So, I like that, who put the Venn diagram there? Me. Who put that one? Yeah, the smiley face is appropriate. We haven't looked at Venn diagrams this particular topic, and there's a reason why. Have a look at the whole list. I think, yeah, I think it is the actual only one, which in this case is unique. The rest of these, in some way, shape, or form, I didn't say it in a good way, um, in some way, shape, or form, you can compare between, right? So for example, something that you could do in a dot plot, right? What might a dot plot look like? Something like this, uh, different scores down the bottom here, right? And then the number of people who scored that particular value, right? You could just as easily have drawn that dot plot over there as a bar graph, right? Or a column graph, or even a line graph, or a pie chart. There's some amount of interchangeability between those, right? So, I'm sorry, Jacob. Oh, what? But I'm actually going to just temporarily on this off. It's okay for you to have it on your list. But here's what I want to point out. You guys did a really good job. Every single item on this list, every single one, sorry. <laughs> because they're all interchangeable, what they share in common, the reason why they're interchangeable, is they all tend to talk about a single value. So for example, maybe you have a line graph, maybe what it charts is like temperature, right? It's like all these different temperatures on different days. Maybe you've got a box plot, what it tells you is, by the way, five things go into a box plot, what are the five things? What's the bottom? There's the, oh, minimum. Minimum. the before the lower quartile, there's the minimum. minimum, then there's the maximum, and then you go in, you get the quartiles, and then the median. Okay. But all of those, all of those are like, well, the median temperature, and the upper quartile for temperature, or scores, or whatever. Okay. So, in that each of these really talks about one value. We call this... Here's a new word for you, and I wonder if you can tell me what it is. I love how people involuntarily read things that are on the board. I could have written anything. You'd be like, blah, 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 blah. Um, you very done it. You look at the word and you tell me what does it mean. Yep. One variable. One variable. Can you write that down for me, please? That's what this means. One variable. Okay. Now, this is extremely restrictive, extremely, extremely restrictive, because often, Ellen, sorry, thank you, often we actually have more than just one variable, one value that we're interested in. Frequently, we're interested in comparing different things in relation to each other. So, for example, <coughs> underneath here, as a little subheading, can you write for me underneath your list? Comparing variables. Now I want you to think for a moment. Don't shout anything out, just in the quietness of your mind. <laughs> Have a think about a time when you might be interested not just in working out a single number, but maybe a pair of numbers that are related to each other. Just think for a moment. Is there a time where You've got a situation where you record more than one thing about a person or a situation and where it's useful to you to compare these two things or think about them at the same time. Have a think, have a think. Ryan, what do you think you're? Team sports. Team sports, what's the variables you're comparing? Well, you've got two teams, you can compare the different like stats between them. Okay, now, let's take this idea. I want to explore it a little bit. Depends. Uh, remember I said this is univariate data, right? We've got stem and leaf plots here. Do you remember, a stem and leaf plot looks something like this. You've got your number, like, uh, here's your leaf. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then, what are the, sorry, these are the stems. What do the leaves look like? What do you have over here on the right-hand side? Yeah, I've been like 41. Second digits. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Something like that. What does this mean? That's, what was the first number I said? 41, 52, 53. So this is, we know what a stem and leaf plot looks like, but do you remember, we looked at things like this. What 
What does this mean? Back -back. We call these back to back because, for example, you might be comparing two different teams, or like boys and girls, or Cherry Brook and Castle Hill. Wow. You athletic people. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ellen, would you get the door behind you, please? Sure, we'll Okay, it's a shame Ryan's gone now, but the point I was making was you can compare two different teams, but you can compare them on one variable. For example, the scores that they get per game, right? Or how fast that they can run. So just because you've got two teams doesn't mean you have more than one variable. Let me give you an example. Height. Think about your height, right? Maybe you want to compare it versus something like, say, shoe size. Think about this for a moment, okay? This is two variables, one, two, right? But one person can have both of these variables, right? Maybe I'm interested in your height and your shoe size together, and everyone's heights and everyone's shoe sizes. Okay, now think. Give me another example of two things that can be related to the same people, but you want to think about them together. Have a look at the weather outside. Can you think of some weather variables where you've got more than one thing you want to compare? Say that again. What does degrees measure? Temperature. What might you compare temperature with? Humidity. Great. Do you see, here I have more than one variable, and I want to know what both of them are doing at the same time. So, this is clearly no longer univariate data. All the examples I've asked you for, we've been comparing two pieces of data. So, what do you think we would call this? Not uni, like we've got unicycles and you've got one wheel. What do you call them this too? You say a double bicycle, unicycle. right? Did you say double <laughs> unicycle? <laughs> Where to go? Okay. So, these guys over here. <laughs> yeah, you get an E for effort. Okay. Um, these guys over here, we call not univariate data, but bivariate data. Bivariate data. Okay. So, <laughs> they're almost the same, right? You have two variables here and you're interested in both. Okay. Now, the tool of choice, rather than this whole big menagerie of different things that you can use, the tool of choice to represent bivariate data, here's your heading, is what we call a scatter point. A scatter point.